Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. The Royal Court announced that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is going to lead the Kingdom of Bahrain's delegation to the 28th Arab League Summit set to be held in Jordan. His Majesty the King is going to travel to Amman to participate in the summit alongside the Majesties, Highnesses and Excellencies, the Kings, Princes and Presidents of Arab countries. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Egypt yesterday on an official visit to meet the Egyptian President Abdul Fattah Al Sisi to review the historic brotherly relations between the two countries as well as the latest regional and international developments. Upon his arrival at Cairo International Airport, His Majesty the King was received by the Egyptian President where they began their friendly talks regarding the existing strong bilateral relations. His Majesty and the Egyptian President then travelled in an official procession to the Etihadiyya Palace where His Majesty delivered a statement in which he expressed pride at being in Egypt and its role in defending Arab affairs in regional and international forums. He said his visit to Egypt aims to enhance bilateral coordination and constant consultation on common issues to develop relations at all levels, to support various methods of cooperation and to exchange visions to deal with pressing requirements. He said that the challenges the Arab nation faces require efforts for unification and reunion to enhance the interests of Arab countries, protect their institutions, prevent intervention in their affairs and achieve the aspirations of their peoples. His Majesty reiterated his appreciation and pride in the Egyptian stances that support the security, stability and development of the Kingdom. He also affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to support the development and security of Egypt. An official reception ceremony was held for His Majesty the King at al Etihadiyya Palace. The Bahraini and the Egyptian national anthems were played.
The artillery fired 21 rounds for the King's arrival. His Majesty then inspected the Guard of Honour. His Majesty the King greeted ministers and the Minister of Higher Education, Head of Mission of Honour, Khalid Abdul Ghaffa, and senior officials in the Egyptian government. The Egyptian President also greeted the official delegation accompanying His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa held a meeting yesterday at, at Hadia Palace with Egyptian President Abdul Fattah Al Sisi, during which they reviewed the deep rooted bilateral relations and the latest regional developments, as well as other topics of common interest. An official round of talks was held between the Bahraini and Egyptian sides, co chaired by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and Egyptian President Abdul Fattah Al Sisi. His Majesty the King expressed his deep thanks and appreciation to his Egyptian counterpart for the warm hospitality and welcome accorded to him and the accompanying Bahraini delegation. During the meeting, which was attended by the delegations of the two countries, they reviewed the progress of historical brotherly relations and strategic cooperation between the two countries at various levels in the light of the two countries' keenness to strengthen and develop these relations to achieve their common interests. The Egyptian president affirmed that the security of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Arabian Gulf is in general is an integral part of Egypt's national security. He also affirmed Egypt's support of the Kingdom of Bahrain in its war against terrorism. His Majesty the King stressed that Bahraini-Egyptian relations are strong and based upon the solid ties of brotherhood and cooperation in all fields. The two sides looked forward to the continuation of coordination and consultation at all levels and to future bilateral cooperation on new horizons to the benefit of the two brotherly peoples. His Majesty the King expressed his appreciation for the positions of Egypt led by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and his efforts in consolidating the foundations of joint cooperation between the two countries. His Majesty underlined the pivotal role of Egypt in defending the Arab nation's issues and interests and protecting Arab national security. The King washed Egypt and its people of further security, stability and prosperity. They also discussed with Egyptian President the latest developments in the region and international issues. His Majesty stressed the importance of exerting all efforts aimed at establishing peace, security and stability and combating terrorism and extremism in the region. Both sides stressed the need for strengthening Arab solidarity and achieving common Arab interests, expressing their hope that the Arab summit in Jordan will constitute an opportunity to strengthen the unity of Arab ranks and to develop common visions to face all dangers and challenges in the region. 
For his part, President al-Sisi welcomed His Majesty the King and expressed his happiness with the visit, which is in the interest of the two countries and enhancing their relations and cooperation in various regional and international issues, praising His Majesty's role and keenness to foster the relations of the two countries to distinctive levels. The Egyptian president also hailed the positions of the Kingdom of Bahrain under His Majesty the King's leadership towards Egypt and its people, and Bahrain's honourable role in supporting joint Arab action. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa attended the dinner banquet hosted by President Al Fata Al Sisi in honour of His Majesty the King and members of the accompanying delegation. Present were senior officials of the Egyptian government and members of the official delegation accompanying His Majesty the King. Under the patronage of Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Championship of the late Sheikh Faisal bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the beauty of purebred Arabian horses of local production, was launched at the Military Sports Association field in the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club amid intense participation and the presence of distinguished audience. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that holding such tournament stems from the keenness to highlight the beauty of purebred Arabian horses and Bahrain's distinction in having the finest breeds, commending the competitive level demonstrated by the participants, which indicates the impressive level of preparation for this championship in order to achieve positive results. He commended all organisational efforts that aim to display a professional standard, especially in light of the efforts exerted by the chairman and members of the committee. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister, deputised Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa in inaugurating the 12th edition of the Gulf Water Conference and Exhibition. The event is organised by the Society for Water Sciences and Technology from March 28th and themed towards integrated water strategies in the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. This 12th event is the fourth edition of the conference hosted in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which attracts the participation of the GCC ministers, officials and members of the Water Resources Council, as well as experts from Bahrain and other GCC countries. Sheikh Khalid expressed his gratitude and appreciation of His Royal Highness the Premier's consenting and tasking of him to open the conference sessions, reflecting His Royal Highness the Premier's care and attention to water resources in Bahrain and the GCC countries as a whole. The Deputy Premier said Bahrain has been one of the leading countries in the region that alerted to the importance of water resources arrangements and management according to scientific policies aimed to achieve the necessary sustainability and efficiency of this vital natural resource. Law Decree 7 of 1982 was issued when established Bahrain's first Water Resources Council more than 35 years ago and defined the nature of the work of the council, which has recently been restructured by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's Edict 42 of 2015. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain, the WSTA 12th Gulf Water Conference was open today and focuses on the formulation of integrated comprehensive water strategy. More now in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The Water Sciences and Technology Association held the 12th Gulf Water Conference Parallel and Exhibition held under the theme Water in the GCC towards integrated strategies aiming to address the topic of sustainable water management in the GCC countries. This conference comes in Bahrain as an informal gathering between all those who are working in the technology of water desalination. Water desalination in the Gulf is, is the highest water being produced from a seawater in the whole world in quantity and in quality all of this uh, research and the papers are being considered in this conference the aim is how to produce the quantity of water and the quality of water with the highest efficiency and effectiveness the main objective of this conference is to to to, to raise the awareness of uh, uh, integrated water strategies uh, 
and how and, and exchange experiences among the GCC countries as well as with the other countries who are having similar conditions like the GCC in terms of water scarcity and socio-economics uh, behaviors. The conference facilitated an open discussion platform to present and share the experiences and best practices from different countries aiming to improve water sustainability, raise awareness and overcome the water challenges in the GCC and Arab countries. We are happy to be in El Bahrain today and uh, it's a pleasure to represent Abu Dhabi Water and Electricity Authority. Uh, as we know, the water is uh, very important to Gulf country and uh, we are happy to contribute in this and support in this conference to know uh, how to, what is the new technology in the water and how to, we can to reduce uh, and saving the water uh, through our country. The conference focuses on the formulation of integrated comprehensive water strategies covering a wide range of topics delivered by field experts, discussing the many relevant approaches and instruments used in the water consuming sectors for enhancing the level of security and sustainability of the water sector. The 12th Gulf Water Conference will go on until the 30th of March and showcases Bahrain's active role in enhancing water resources through scientific means in the Kingdom and the GCC. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Muller, chaired the weekly meeting where the Council approved two draft laws regarding the GCC Consumer Protection and Social Insurance. The Council also approved a draft law regarding amending laws of the Penal Code and approved another draft law regarding the general budget. The meeting then discussed a number of draft laws regarding commercial companies law, commercial agency education and housing and decided to postpone those draft laws for further studies. In line with the importance of enhancing cooperation with Asian parliaments, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, is leading a delegation to Indonesia tomorrow to reinforce mutual understanding and strengthen joint cooperation. During the visit, the delegation is set to sign a memorandum of understanding with their Indonesian counterparts, aiming to boost coordination in various fields. For more information, we're now joined by Representatives Council's member, Ahmed Garata. Hello, Mr. Garata. Thank you for joining us. Can you tell us about the memorandum you're going to sign and the importance of your visit? Hello, Mr. Garata. I think we seem to have lost Mr. Garata. They will move on to the next story now. Sorry about that. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, deputised Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa to attend a ceremony marking the 241st US Independence Day. US Ambassador to Bahrain William Roebuck hosted the reception party yesterday at the Diplomat Hotel in the presence of senior officials, members of the Diplomatic Corps and invitees. Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa and Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa conveyed greetings and congratulations from His Royal Highness the Premier to the US leadership and people wishing the United States further progress and prosperity. They commended the strong relations of cooperation and deep-rooted historic friendship binding the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America. The U.S. envoy extended deep thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier, hailing his keenness on bolstering joint cooperation. He reiterated his country's keenness on expanding cooperation with Bahrain. On the sidelines of the visit of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to Egypt, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, met with his Egyptian counterpart, Dr. Mohammed Sheikha. The two ministers discussed ways to further develop cooperation between the two countries in the electricity and renewable energy. The two parties agreed on exchanging expertise and preparing a memorandum of understanding between the two ministries in the fields of electricity, water and renewable energy. Dr. Mirza expressed thanks and appreciation to the Egyptian electricity minister and the Egyptian senior officials who attended the meeting. 
The Supreme Judicial Council and the Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Endowments announced the application of an advanced electronic and statistical system for court procedures, along with new electronic services in cooperation and coordination with the Information Authority and the e-government. In the presence of the President of the Supreme Judicial Council and Cassation Court Chancellor Salim bin Mohammed al Khawari and the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali al Khalifa. Now all the lawyers are being notified through uh, SMS and, and emails. Uh, also the official gazette turned, to be, turned out to be uh, electronic. Uh, the whole system of enforcement of civil judgments and, and, uh, uh, is being now uh, dealt with electronically and through the, uh, the internet uh, online. Uh, uh, what we are trying to introduce today also is a new system of statistics that allows judges not only to see uh, their uh, performance in terms of how many cases are in the court and how many cases are being uh, judged, it also gives a more sophisticated information like, for example, congestion rate, which is what is the rate required to finish all the cases of the, uh, uh, that are running in the court, the clearance rate that also shows the performance of the judge in relation to new cases that are arriving to the court. Uh, uh, we are in line with international standard of statistics and we put this into uh, our system and we hope that this will allow lots of review from judges to, to be fully aware while they are managing the courts uh, that they are capable of determining whether to go forward or to slow back or what, what kind of problems that they have to deal with while uh, in process. So uh, I hope that this will be uh, a, a good advancement to the judiciary. In the Ministry of Justice, we are very convinced that we should be uh, intact and full cooperation with the Council, especially when they declared their strategy 2020, and we are uh, uh, with them, and we declare that this is part of our work as well and our goals to achieve it together. Information Affairs Minister, Chairman of Bahrain Institute for Political De for Development, the BIPD, Board of Trustees, Ali bin Mohammed al-Ramehi, met with Head of the Egyptian State Information Service, Ambassador Salah Abdul Sadiq, on the sidelines of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al-Khalifa's visit to the Arab Republic of Egypt. Al-Ramehi expressed the Kingdom of Bahrain's pride in Egypt's historic role in standing with its Arab brothers and considering the security and stability of Bahrain and the Gulf an integral part of its national security. He praised the depth of the historic brotherly relations between Bahrain and Egypt and its development in all fields in light of the friendly ties between the two leaders and peoples of the two countries and the keenness on the security of the Arab nation and its development politically and economically. The Minister of Information affirmed the importance of the Bahraini-Egyptian summit between His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Assisi to enhance the historic brotherly relations march in various political, economic, social, media and cultural fields and reinforce the joint Arab action in light of the issues on the agenda of the Arab summit in Amman especially with regard to the protection of national security and combating extremism, terrorism and rejection of foreign interference in the internal affairs of the region's countries. al Ramehi reviewed the mechanisms for activating the media cooperation protocols signed between the Ministry of Information Affairs and the Egyptian State Information Service during His Majesty the King's previous visit to Egypt in last April. The Minister of Information and the Chairman of the current session of the Council of Arab Information Ministers stressed the keenness of the two countries to unify Arab efforts to activate the commitment of the media and satellite channels to the Charter of Media Honour and assume their historic responsibilities in spreading the values of tolerance and mutual respect and combating extremism and terrorism in all its forms. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to Al-Rumehi for his visit and keenness to develop aspects of partnership and cooperation between the two countries in the field of media to serve the historical brotherly relations and support joint Arab media work. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed al Rumehi, received the Egyptian journalist syndicate, Abdul Moshin Salama, and expressed appreciation for the historical constants in the Egyptian press for their role in supporting Arab and Islamic issues and defending Bahrain's security, stability and sovereignty and its rejection of any foreign interference in the affairs of the Arabian Gulf.
He also praised the history of the Bahraini Egyptian press and its role in the march of development and the Arab Enlightenment and cultural revival and its keenness to consolidate brotherhood and partnerships amongst Arab countries, protect their national security and spread the values of peace, tolerance, moderation and combating extremism and terrorism. He congratulated Salama on his election as Egyptian Journalist Syndicate, wishing him success. Al Romehi affirmed that His Majesty the King uh, visit to Egypt and holding talks with President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi comes in the frame of His Majesty's keenness to consolidate the brotherly and distinguished historical relations between the two countries and peoples. For his part, Salama welcomed the visit of the Minister of Information and his keenness in reinforcing cooperation between media outlets between the two countries, affirming Egypt's support of the level of political leadership and its press and media bodies to the Bahraini procedures in maintaining its security and stability and continuing its development and democratic path. Al Sanibel Award for Community Responsibility in GCC Orphan Care Institutions for the year 2017 celebration was held yesterday in Rotana Amwaj. More in this report with Heba Abdul Ghafa. The Sanibel Award for Community Responsibility in the field of orphans care came to provide experiences and successes and the best practices in the areas of community responsibility in the field of serving orphans and their families through innovative initiatives that Gulf and Arab institutions are racing to adopt. In cooperation with the Regional Network for Community Responsibility, the award aims to honour leading GCC figures and institutions and motivate them to exert more efforts in supporting the orphans. One of the biggest even in this category on the Arab countries. Uh, there are a lot of uh, awards given to different categories, the governmental uh, categories, the private categories, and some even ministries categories. And I think this will really encourage these people to give more and more in these different fields. Sanabel Society, this is one of the uh, first uh, association that related to orphans in Bahrain. Uh, and uh, this award has uh, been organized for the uh, last two years. Uh, and uh, the good things about uh, this, uh, uh, this award that gathered all uh, GCC representatives that works with the orphans' uh, care. Plenty institutions and organizations believing in their objectives, displaying their effective practices, rushing to serve the orphans by providing them with educational, health, social and even psychological support was such an inspiration and their appreciation was well deserved. Happy to see appreciation given to the people at different level, even young students by Sanabel Society whom we respect. An exhibition for charity organizations was also there to showcase their great humanitarian services and achievements. Uh, we have several activities, uh, mainly we focus on uh, activities for uh, youth, uh, for students. Uh, we give them a uh, training session about uh, rules. The Society Board Chairman and members presented a briefing on the Society's future programs and preparations, which aren't only of great benefits to the orphans, but also an aid to the expansion and consolidation of community-based care practices in its various forms, having a great impact on the cohesion of communities. We make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Al Sanabel Award for Community Service in GCC Orphan Care Institutions for this year's celebration takes place today to honor pioneering humanitarian initiatives in the orphan care field. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar.